Hello, my beautiful sweets. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this video. I just wanted to come on and show you guys how I've grocery shopped and gotten food from the food pantry and free sweet potatoes to prepare my Thanksgiving dinner. This is the food pantry box that my girlfriend down the hall shares with me every month. This month, I got a box of corn biscuits, gluten-free. That's interesting. Um, they look like the Czech cereal, oven toasted corn cereal. And the expiration date on this is September 9th, 2023. And I also got two can two bottles or boxes of the Gossner Foods. Y'all know Dollar Tree sells this. 1% low-fat milk. And I got two of those. And those expiration dates, September 3rd, 2023. <clears throat> then I got two of the Rhine Ripe uh, Low Sodium Traditional Pasta Sauce, which I've already used before, and it's really good. And they're Best Buy, November 25th, 2024. I got one um, Mother's Made Sliced Potatoes. And y'all know I use these in my soup, so these are really good. August 17th, 2025. So I got one can of that and one can of Choice Bartley Pears. And my sister loves these. So I will be sharing all this stuff with her as always. The expiration date on this is MIA. Because that's just a lot number up there, I believe. But I'm sure they're good. I don't know what that says, y'all. Anyway, let's move right on. Oh, I got another... Mother's Made, oh yeah, I got three cans of the Mother's Made sliced potatoes. I got a can of the Morton House chili with beans. I love chili, but I don't like the beans, but I can always pick those out. This expires March 31st, 2025. And I got a can of black beans, and this one is used by 9923. And then I got two things of pasta from Allegra. This is spaghetti, and this is a one-pound bag. And let's see, the expiration date is July 2024. And this is a thing of macaroni, Allegra Mac Elbows. These are so good to make mac and cheese or whatever you want to make soup. The expiration date on this is May 2024. Okay, and then the church called me and told me to come and pick up the free sweet potatoes. So I will be making sweet potato pies, sweet potato casserole, and then I will be sharing some of these potatoes with my sisters. So that was a nice deal. Okay, okay, my sweets. I just got this few items from Walmart's. Because I went to all these first, but their turkeys were sky high and they weren't name brand. This is what my mom always used, Butterball Premium Turkeys. So I got like a 12 pounder. Yeah, a 12 pound and I paid $14.18 for that. And when I make my dressing or stuffing, whatever you call it, I always put um, sausage. But I use turkey sausage and I make half the dressing with sausage and apples and half with just the sausage because I don't like apples in my dressing. So these two items are from Walmart. And then from Aldi's, I got a bag of Honeycrisp apples. Not a lot in there, but I didn't need a lot because I will use some of these apples for the dressing, some of the apples for a little decoration in my living room, blah, blah, blah. Okay. <laughs> and then, oh yeah, these two came from Walmart's too, you guys. Sorry. My packing tape because I have to pack up boxes to get out which I'm dragging my feet because I haven't had a chance to do it yet but back to all these I got some baking spray you know I usually get the Baker's Joy from Walmart's but this was a lot more affordable same size this is the Carlini baking spray so I got that I got two cans of the uh, evaporated milk Nest Nestle's Carnation yep and then I got some herb season, classic stuffing mix, and I'm not going to use all these stuffing, y'all, but we mix all these together and love it, okay? This is the way my mom made it. A little bit of stovetop turkey dressing. I got two. Then I got two bags of the stuffing cornbread, and 
yeah, they all came from all these. I'm all mixed up, y'all. I did get a thing of caramel pecan coffee from Walmart. <sighs> y'all know I'm crazy like that. Okay, then we're going to come over here to Food Lion. And I got two more extra cans of cranberry sauce just to make sure we had enough. Because collard greens, potato salad, cranberry sauce, turkey and dressing. Yeah, you got to have it, okay? And I did pick up a bag of mixed nuts. These are $4.99, y'all. I remember when my mom used to buy these things. They were so cheap. $4.99, okay? <laughs> then I got some smoked turkey wings for my collard greens. I got some sour cream for my baking. I got a few oranges to go in my little fruit bowl. I got the Jiffy corn um, bread mix to go with the dressing. I got a couple of onions, some bananas, a tomato, some celery, and I did pick up one more pound of butter from Food Lion because it was on sale for $3.99, which is really good for Lando Lakes because I had already gotten three pounds of butter from Aldi's for like $2.49. I should have just went ham when I saw it at that price. But anywho, I'm okay. And I got a dozen of my large Eggland's Best Eggs. I already have a dozen in the refrigerator, so I just want to make sure I have enough eggs in the house. And then I got some Claxton fruit cake from Food Line. Now, I normally get my fruit cake from Cracker Barrel, but they're probably sold out of it by now because it goes so fast over there. When I saw it at Food Lion, this is pretty much the same exact one. So I'm hoping it tastes like the one from Cracker Barrel. But that is it for my food prep, getting ready to make my dinner. I'm going to go over on the other side and share a small little Dollar Tree haul with you guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Hey, my sweets. Okay, I'm back. I've been in the kitchen all day, you guys, and I'm so tired. But I promised you a Dollar Tree haul. It's just a small one tonight. I still have some friend mail that I want to share with you guys, but I'm going to try to put that in another video. But welcome back, all my sweets. Thank you so much for all the love and support you show my channel. Remember, this is Sweet Sadie J TV, and we're going to jump right into it. I think I'm going to start with the little bit of food that I got. Okay, my sweets, I, my local store had these Sweet Chaos Movie Fate Theater Butter Popcorn, and I know I didn't need this. I didn't even look at the date to see how much it was, because I know it's still good, but um, it's down to 25 cents. Oh, it's tomorrow, it's two days, November 22nd of 2022, so I did grab two bags of this, because... It's good. Sweet Chaos is really, really good popcorn. So I grabbed that and I know it'll be better. It'll be fine past, you know, day after tomorrow, whatever. I did get um, one of these bigger, 30% bigger uh, condensed Campbell's tomato soup. I was looking for a few more and I didn't see any. So I just picked up the one. I like to have that in my pantry for grilled cheese or whatever. Um, August 8th, 2024, and it is a 14.3 ounce can, so it's 33% more. I grew up on that stuff, y'all. In the wintertime, when it's cold, my mom would make some tomato soup and some grilled cheese. Yeah, I got the specs this time, y'all, okay? I also got two cans of the Campbell's Cream of Chicken Soup to put in my dressing, my stuffing, these don't expire until August 19th of 2024. And I got two cans of those. Cream of mushroom, I mean, cream of chicken. I'm so used to buying the cream of mushroom. So I got two cans of those. If you guys remember in a few hauls back that I hauled this Minute Maid uh, mango. It's a juice beverage. It's the mango I showed you. Well, I'm just passing these over to my sister. That's why I still have this. But I found a Minute Maid hibiscus juice beverage. And these are both 16 fluid ounce cans. They're really big. It's a juice beverage, but this one is hibiscus from Minute Maid, a name brand. And let's see if it has a Best Buy or I don't know. I can't even imagine what these taste like. I mean, the mango maybe, but I've never had anything hibiscus, but... Um, there's no, if it is, I'll have to 
If I can find it, I'll put it in the description box because I'm not seeing. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go, I think. I need to put on my specs, but I don't want to. Oh, there it is. Um, it is 2023, but I can't see the month. Oh, 9th, September of 2023 on there. Sorry, y'all. That took me a minute. <laughs> and then I got a... I saw this, and I see the big one floating around on other ones hauls, but I still have the big one in my pantry. I don't know if it's still good or not, but I saw the strawberry margarita in the um, Refresh Me, sugar-free, zero calories. So I'm going to be taking this to my sister's house on Thanksgiving while well, we're going the day before. So we might make a few drinks. Uh, again, it just has a lot number. It doesn't have an expiration date on here like the other one did, but I picked up one of those because they are restocking these for the holiday. And then I found this um, Swan 50%, I can never say that word, isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol. It's with wintergreen. It's a first aid antiseptic and it's for rubbing and massaging and it's a 16 fluid ounce and I hadn't seen that in the Dollar Tree in a while. So I grabbed that. Y'all know my legs, my back, everything's always aching and I think this is really good to rub down with. This expires May 14th, 2025. So it looks like that. And then I got some baking soda because when I'm making fresh collard greens, the way my mom do, does it, we bring the collard greens to a boil while well, we bring the, we heat the collard greens up and then we put baking soda in it until it bubbles up and then we drain it off and then we recook the greens. So I got some fresh baking soda. I know I have some in my pantry, but I don't know the date on it. So I went ahead and grabbed another one while I was at the Dollar Tree. So I'm not seeing an expiration date on these either. I know I should put um, <laughs> my glasses on, and I will. There it is. It is um, February 15th, 2023. So I got that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think the last of my food items for this haul is um, I found the Mrs. Muller's or Mrs. Miller's baking spread flavored with real bacon. And these are nice. I They had the raspberry, the strawberry, and something else last year. But I found these. Let me see if you guys can see that. It is the baking one. And I got, I love to get the summer sausage or winter sausage, whatever, whichever one it is. And get crackers and make a nice little gift basket. So I did pick up four of these because one's for me. I want to try it. Anything that says bacon. <laughs> So I got four of those, okay, and then they are finally, the softy shampoos and conditioners are finally, finally making it to my local stores, so I found another shampoo, this one says softy hydrating olive repairing shampoo, healthy shine, paraben free, it's a 16.5 fluid ounce, so I went ahead and got that to put in my stash. Again, it doesn't say moisturizing, but it does say hydrating, and it smells divine. I like this one out of, oh, oh my God, it smells so good. And for a big bottle like this of shampoo from the Dollar Tree for $1.25 from Softy, and I like Softy products, so I did get that. And I don't know if you guys remember in a previous browse with me, I showed you that they had this new, well, it's new to me, um, Laundry Essentials Extra Sticky Lint Roller. And I just had to get one because it said Extra Sticky. We know the regular ones, and they had the two-pack, the small one, and the larger one, but they had the Extra Sticky one, and it was in a different color. So it looks like it's a little bit um, better, but I'll have to use it on my sofa where all my lint and glitter and all that stuff gets on there to see how well it works. Okay. Okay, my sweets. Let me get this stuff done before I forget it. I know I have plenty of foil right now, but I went ahead and got two more boxes of aluminum foil so I can wrap that food that I will be cooking here and taking to my sisters. 
I just wanted to make sure I had enough and I knew this is never going to go to waste. And I did pick up a couple of foil pans. This one is ripped. This is a, I don't know why they ripped the tag out of it, but this is the deep one that I would plan on making my um, dressing in. And I wanted it to be deep so that I could fit all my stuffing in there. And then I got these. I got two of the large ones only because they're just called them rectangular roasters. But once I cook my turkey, I want it, I double it so I don't have to worry about it leaking through. And then I'll put my turkey in here to take up to my sisters. So I didn't want to forget those. So I got that. And then I found some uh, new, uh, well, new to me, let me make it clear, new to me, I found some Sure and Fresh Feminine Cleansing Cloths for Sensitive Skin. This one is Citrus Tangerine Scented with Aloe and Chamomile, alcohol-free and hyperallergenic, and they have 32 wipes in here. And I typically don't use stuff like this, but I don't see why I use the body, um, the feminine wash so I was like this is for sensitive skin this one so that was new to me and then I found this one <clears throat> and this is cleansing cloths for sensitive skin tropical coconut scented same thing with aloe ca and chamomile alcohol free hyperallergenic and 32 wipes in it so this one looks like this so I got both of them because you know one in your purse one at the house keep them on you at all times with me going away for Thanksgiving they'll come in handy and then I found this gem it says since over a hundred years 1896 these are foundation puffs I'm pretty sure I've seen these before you guys but they look new at the moment so I grabbed them they look like this just cute little foundation um, sponges you get uh, la 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 Looks like one. Let's open this and see what's going on here. Oh. Oh, okay. How cute. Oh, they give you a little a little sash in here to to carry them in. Oh, that's very cute. For a dollar twenty-five, that's not bad, right? So they give you the little little bag to put them in. Oh, that's cute. Let's see if we can get two in here. Yeah, so that was cute for $1.25. So you can put those in there. Put them in your makeup bag. And y'all know, the only reason why I bought this was because of all the purple. <laughs> Sometimes I am so crazy, you guys. This is by Be Pure. This is the mini jade roller. And it makes perfect, perfect little stocking stuffers or gifts. It has a little purple. It's in a purple box. You see the little mini one? I got so many of these, you guys. I'm constantly giving them away. But I couldn't help myself. I had to have it. This will make a perfect little gift for friend mail. And, of course, they have the instructions on the back on how you can use it. So I've got about two or three of them in my freezer door. So <laughs> I forget about them. Okay. okay, my sweets. I know I keep saying I don't care for um, LA colors. But they keep bringing stuff out that tweaks my interest. Um, I showed you guys this, what, Juicy Smoochies from LA Colors the other, in the last haul, and I got nothing. I just wanted it for the 10. I didn't expect it to, you know, be anything, you know, wowzer or anything, and I, I don't really like putting my hands and stuff like that anyway, but when I used it, and I used it several times, I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. I'm just not a fan of LA Colors, but I still went ahead and bought this um, hydrating lipstick, creamy finish, cruelty-free, vitamin E and aloe vera. They're putting aloe vera in everything, and the shade is called Show Off. Y'all know I love those dark colors like that. So I was like, oh, look at that. That is so pretty. It looks like that. Nice little casing, but I said I'll give it a try, you know. Eh, what can I say? And hodgepodge, every time I go to a Dollar Tree, a different Dollar Tree, and I find more of the pineapple pens, the little, what are they called, journaling ink, metal twist up fashion pen, I grab them because I will be sticking them in my friend mail. 
So I love these. And so, yeah, I every time I go to a store and I see them at a different store than mine, I grab some. They did come out with some new prayer cards, y'all. And y'all know I do not need any new prayer cards. But this was so pretty. And I know they pretty much all say the same thing. Today's prayer and then the scriptures on the back. And they're by Crown Jewels, but I only got one. They had two different ones up there, but this packaging was so pretty. I had to have it, so I grabbed that. That'll go to, with my pile over here of prayer cards that I have. And the last item in this haul today, I'm looking, double-checking, you guys, because y'all know I got so much on my plate right now. But if you saw the thumbnail, I found these cute little decorations and I found the 10 ones too. I showed you in a browse with me, but I don't, I don't need all this stuff. So I did just get the black one that says home and I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. I have an idea, but I'm not sure. So I thought this was really, really pretty. Just looks like that on the back and they're just calling it decor, decor as always. And of course I like the beige one and this one said, welcome. And they look so nice. And I just thought they were so pretty. Um, so that is it, you guys. That is the end of today's Dollar Tree haul. And my grocery and my prepping for Thanksgiving. I'm making the turkey, the dressing, the sweet potato pies, the sour cream pound cake. My sister, my youngest sister is making an apple pie. And my oldest sister is making potato salad and deviled eggs. Oh, did I say I'm making collard greens too? Yeah, fresh collard greens. So I'm going to one of my friend's local farm tomorrow to get my collard greens. And yeah, I'll be in the kitchen cooking. So if you guys don't see me, <laughs> you know why, right? <laughs> because I'm old now. I can't work miracles like I used to anymore. But Hopefully, I do still have another haul sitting over here for you guys, and hopefully, I'll get to film that and upload that one. But love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you all so very, very much. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and everyone have a blessed day. Bye, guys.